Yeah, it's uh, it's a great feeling, obviously. Um, you know, it's good to get the, that first one out of the way, and then, then now I can just kind of play my game and not have to worry about that. But, um, you know, we're trying to win hockey games here and didn't get that done tonight, so uh, that's a little bit disappointing. Were you happy with the response that your team showed from Friday night to today? Certainly, you know, it seemed like a much more energetic and offensive effort from the group. Yeah, no, for sure. We had a, a lot of adjustments we had to make. Um, just shutting down their speed, their offensive team. Um, but, you know, one thing, we never never lacked character. I and mean, the other night we were, we were sticking in there and, and fighting even when we were down by by a few. And, um, you know, it showed tonight uh, being able to bounce back from that and uh, make those adjustments. And, um, you know, obviously a much closer game. You just have to, you know, a little a couple of mistakes here and there, and that's the difference in, in the game. Thanks, John. Next up is Jack Harris. Hey, Jared, uh, what, what has the experience been like uh, before this weekend on, on the taxi squad? And, and even though you weren't in games, I mean, just being around the NHL guys, did that have you a little more prepared to step in these last couple? Yeah, I think so. I think just being around the guys and, and um, practicing with them every day and, and getting that comfort level um, on the ice and just, um, you know, be, taking reps with, with them so that um, when you come in, it's it's a little bit different than, you know, last year was coming up from the AHL and you come up to the NHL, it's, uh, you're not used to taking reps and it's a little bit different, but uh, being here uh, the whole time and, and taking practices with the guys and um, being used to that speed and just uh, being familiar with, with the guys, you know, even just taking reps, uh, stuff you don't really think of. Uh, but when you get in the game, those, uh, that little, the chemistry you build in practice, it, uh, it shows on the ice when, when it matters. So uh, definitely a lot easier uh, transition when, you, when you're, um, you know, in, on the ice with the guys every day and then uh, coming into the lineup, it uh, makes it a lot easier. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you. Next up is John Hoven. Feedback did management give you or coaching staff give you after the first game? Uh, nothing really. It was all about the, you know, the team and adjustments we had to make. Uh, so, you know, nothing really about me, but uh, I thought we did a good job uh, on the adjustments tonight that, that needed to be made. And then we can see on the broadcast, you talking with Kopitar, talking with Carter at a couple of different points. What type of uh, in-game communication are you receiving from some of the vets? Uh, just little tips here and there. Um, just you're telling me to, to keep going and, uh, you know, make a difference every shift. That's kind of the main message from those guys, but uh, just tips here and there, you know, those are obviously two, two guys that uh, have had a lot of success, success and, um, you know, both centermen. So uh, just little, um, you know, talking about face-offs and, uh, you know, supporting the puck, just little things like that.